Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Paul from Fluta Ferry. Today I'll be talking about that extensions and using it to build how you can use it to build fast UIs and also as a dart tip for clean code design and for fast development too. So if you want to read about the article on this you can check in the comment section below to see the link to the article so you can give it a good read and also you understand how an extension can be used for uh, on that as a whole so an extension is a way to add more functionality to a class or a library so so at this point we are going to start implementing and um, the extensions how to create it and how to access an extension but first and um, i know it's going to be boring writing an extension at the beginning of a project or as a beginner but writing an extension would will, will really help you not just and um, to for the clean code design or for separating most of your um, ui logic to a different um, file but also it helps you to build fast uis like you can assess a certain method or a certain um, variable from the extension you have defined already so let's just get to it and i have a, if a i have a project i've created already here which is on github you can sh find it out on the description below which is um the flutter tutorial you can give it a fork so you can you see other um branches and what i did on other tutorials you can get the code and you run it and see what i've done been doing so far um, okay on that um i have a run uh, entry point here which is the main which actually runs our app and i have a class here which is my hub that extends stateless widgets and returns a material app and i gave it i gave it the title using using extension fast and that tips i gave it a theme which is blue accent and visual density which is i set it to this and also and i have a home here which take me to this class which is the home page okay and this returns a scaffold the build method returns a scaffold which is what you are seeing here over here at the right hand side of the screen so we'll be building an extension now we're writing some extension but first let's give let's give some some widget in, let's put some widget into this okay i'll be giving this an height of I want to use the height of the screen so I'm going to use media query of context dot size to assess it and the size there is a height variable there and I get it so this is the height of the screen and I have to define width and I'll just change this to width of the screen and give this a color of red color red so now we have a red color here so now i want to since an extension is what um add to a library or a class like adding a functionality or adding more logic or anything to a, a, a class so we'll be defining this extension we'll be writing it an extension that 
works on widgets so we'll be writing an extension that works on widget so this you know most time we might want to give maybe a container a padding something like this const page insects maybe dot all we give it 16 so i'm going to save this okay i given this margin okay now we might want to do something like this over and over again in different files in our in our projects we might want to do it here we might want to do it at the main so the code we're using will be using the same method or we'll be defining something like we'll be wrapping our container in a padding which is not very effective so this what we are going to try to do now so i'm going to take it to the the ui folder and the theme the theme file so i'm going to write an extension so to write an extension is simple you will give it the name extension and give the name of an extension so i'm going to call it x padding so i want to write an extension on padding so i give it just the name depends on you so then i'm going to use also the keyword on so i'm going to use on widgets so i want to write an extension on widgets okay So write an extension of widgets. So we shall have imported widgets here, or you can import material. I think everything will be fine if you import material or, or widgets. So will be what you can do whatever you can use whatever um um way here to write an extension. You can use a setter. You can use a getter you can use a method so i'll be using a method here so i'm going to write padding i'm going to write padding 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 all so i'm going to make this a function and i'm going to write padding So so I'm going to write const and h insects all so I'm going to pass the value in here and okay I'm going to pass the value in here so we can actually assess it now if we should extend this now we have successfully created an extension and if we should extend this on any widget it will wrap that widget on a padding rather than creating maybe you just bring this out and just create it manually just like this which is is nice you can do it and it works well that means you're going to return a child which you pass in somewhere here but we're going we're not going to do that here we're going to write child and we're going to use this now this says is actually referring to this this widget and this pattern so i'm going to save that and i'm going to move over to um our own page and i'm going to import I'm going to import the theme i'm going to use this method okay not I'm going to go more in ui theme so i'm going to remove the margin here 
so i'm going to save this first so we see so everything is gone everything is gone here like this the pattern is not the margin is not there anymore so we're trying to we'll try to assess our, our extension method i'm going to to assess the extension in the pattern hole so i'm going to so to assess it is for you to go over to the maybe the last part of the closing part of the the class just like the constructor and you type in the dots and you get the padding all so it's the padding all you're getting and you pass in whatever parameter you want to whatever value you want to pass and which is i'm going to pass 20 and try to save this Okay, type in this new subtype of double. So I'm going to go into that and fix it. So I'm going to define this. I'm going to so it fix it. Now we have added that. Now we can try to maybe we can wrap this in a container and i'm going to remove the height both heights and so i'm going to use the expanded widget so and i'm going to press this to so you see how this is effective now we can go ahead to create more padding on this and we can create something like padding vertical so we use the symmetric and we pass in the vertical so we go over to here and padding vertical and we it will really give the padding just vertical vertically so save that and good okay i think that's it for today so if you want to be seeing more about this you can subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if it is bad so i'll actually look into and learning and also teaching as well because it's a kind of a motto to this channel i learn from teaching like i teach then learn from it so that's basically what i do here so i think that's it for today have a nice day